Hey folks, how you doing? Lodusium here, playing some Hearthstone, and we're going to do some daily quests. We are going to play as a druid for a little bit. Uh, where is it? There's my deck. I called it just druid. Please don't sue me, Nike. Anyways, we are going to see if it works. I just put it together. I have no idea. I haven't tried it out yet. But I have some daily quests that I want to get done. Actually, I have two for a druid, so if I can get at least five druid wins and get both of those done and we're playing against tugboat another druid so let's see how we do so I'll explain my deck a bit as we go if it eventually starts uh, the idea is to ramp up so I have some big creatures in here I have a few small creatures and the idea is to try to ramp this up um, yeah, you know what we'll keep the harvest golem because I don't have that many small creatures in here uh, three, four, five, that's not terrible. Fortunately, I can't do anything until, well, turn two I can use my hero ability, but really I can't do much until turn two. I was really hoping to get my Innervates in there, or my Mark of the Wild, or something like that. Not Mark of the Wild. Uh, Call of the Wild? Wild Growth. That's the one. Eventually I'll get the names of these cards correct. Uh, but no such luck, so we'll use our hero ability, we'll hit this guy, and we'll move on to the next turn. So next turn, Harvest Golem, I think is the most prudent play. Then Cho and Yeti, then we can decide between Stalag or Sludge Belcher. My opponent plays an Acidic Swamp Ooze. I don't have a weapon, so it doesn't matter. You know, innervating into Sludge Belcher doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. This gives me a taunt and uh, it'll kill his slime there, and he shouldn't be able to do much with three mana because he just used. No, he didn't use his coin. Well, he won't be able to do much with four mana. He can swipe, but that won't kill it. So, at very best, he'd have to use a coin, swipe, and get rid of that. Uh, the aesthetic slime moves. So, what you got? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad sludge belchers, bad sludge belchers. Uh, next turn, probably Chill Win Yeti. And then we'll see from there, probably Stalag, Cairn, and so on. He's going to play Mark of Nature. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it's not going to be enough to kill it, but it's a, it's a decent enough trade. So uh, I'm not too upset about it because we get to trade those out. So that's two cards for two cards because I had to use an innervate on that. It does put me with some cards on the board and that's good. Das is good. Uh, Sunwalker, nice taunt, will help keep me alive. But most likely next turn Stalag. What I don't like about Stalag is that he's pretty good swipe bait so it's really easy to get rid of him. My opponent plays a Druid of the Claw, and I can play a Druid of the Claw. I'm going to hit that. That sets me up for a swipe. We're going to play Druid of the Claw and see what our opponent does, because if he doesn't have a swipe, I could run the 1-2 into this and then use my hero ability to finish it off. So we'll see what he's got available. Maybe. And what I haven't done yet is broken all the stained glass here. How dare it. Stain your glass. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I like putting together random words. He's gonna play to get a harvest golem which is fine and innervate into. Don't tell me you've got a swipe. Nope, Defender of Argus though, which is a bit upsetting. A bit upsetting, not entirely upsetting, but just a bit. Uh, this can kill that and still live. This can trade for that and not live. I'm okay with all of those. Or actually much better, this kills this. this the 4-1 kills the 5-2, that makes a lot more sense. This can kill the 3-4 and still be perfectly fine. Be a 4-3. 
Give him a 2-1, but that's fine. And you know what? We'll play Kern. I'm all right with that. I'll get that out there. I was thinking playing the Sunwalker, but Kern gives me more cards. Sunwalker would have Divine Shield, so that would give me a little bit. But he's going to use Wrath to get rid of my 4-3. Fair enough. But he does have to use up a Wrath to do it. Mark of the Wild on the Defender of Argus. We'll make that a 4-5, which is a bit annoying. 4 or 5 with Taunt, but I've got my own Mark of the Wild. So, there. And what are you going to do? You're going to attack that directly and then hit that yourself. Good. And then hit me for 2. So, what I'm thinking of doing here is multifaceted. I'm thinking we use our hero ability. We get rid of this for one. We do take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. I'm going to use Wrath here for one damage, get a card, slash get rid of this 2-1. We get Sylvanas. And then I'll just play my own Harvest Golem and hit my opponent for four. That gives me a nice board advantage. Uh, gives me a few nice cards. And we've got cards to play on the next turn. Good cards to play. My opponent does have three cards. And he plays another Druid of the Claw. Very annoying. I won't deny that. I think my best bet might be to use Mark of the Wild and Kern here, or Bane, actually, and turn that into a 6 7, which would be strong enough to get rid of that 4 6. Then we hit that directly, and then uh, I'm going to put the Sunwalker out here. I'm still hesitant to put Stalag out there because he could die very easily to a swipe. Um, then again, so could most of everything else I have. Wild Growth, at this point, I'm just going to save until turn 10 and use that to get an extra card. If I got that much earlier, I would have used that earlier, but right now it does me no good. And I'm going to try to drink some of my coffee. Hopefully it's still, it's not too hot. It's a bit cooler. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that stinks a little bit. Uh, he's got a 510. I guess the best bet is to run the Sunwalker into it, which can take a hit with the Divine Shield, and then run Kern into it, unfortunately, but get rid of that. And then we'll play Stalag. We'll use our hero ability. And we'll just hit our opponent. So I did get a Wrath. I could use that to either deal 3 damage or deal 1 damage. Um, Wild Growth we'll use for extra cards. And then Sylvanas for usual Sylvanas stuff. I'm slowly doing damage to my opponent, but... With the big taunts that he's dropping, I do have to. Is he going to get two cards or five life? He's going to take two cards. All right. Fair enough. And he only has two mana. So I'm curious what he will do. He's going to armor up. All right. That's it. Fair enough. Uh, swipe. Do I have enough for lethal? Uh, seven. Four is uh, eleven. Plus four is fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. I do have enough for lethal on the board. I think. Let's let's get there first. Can I? Oh, it's to a minion. Well, then never mind. See? I was mistaken. In that case, let's hit our opponent a bunch. We'll get a card via excess mana. And a rate doesn't quite help me. And we'll play Sylvanas. And then I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do lethal. Um, next turn. I thought this was 
Two minion, one damage, and draw a card. I thought I could deal one damage to my opponent, but I guess not. I guess it has to be to a creature. Oh well. So what to do, what to do. Ah, there it is. That's fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Nice thing is if he puts out, well, that's kind of stinks, but I'll be able to clear most of my board with that. Which one do you want to kill? That. Sylvanas gets here 2 2. You should have killed my 2 2 first, but that's fine. It's going to die. Um, and we win. So, well played. Nice! Nicely done. So, we'll get a, our first win. A couple of daily quests here. Here we go. Oh, three of them. Nice. Uh, so if I win two games, I get one complete. And if I win a few more games, I get the uh, domination one complete, where you have to win five. And then I'm also doing the one where you just have to win seven games using any class. So it's all good. It's all good stuff. Let's let's move on. Sir Aspen just drew it. Just drew it. Um, maybe I'll keep Innervate and try to Innervate into something big. Innervating into Lothab is not terrible on turn three. Uh, I've got two Keepers of the Grove. So turn three, turn four, turn five kind of thing. And then he won't be able to get rid of Lothab too easily. Sure what else I have. I just got Ancient of War. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use my hero ability and hit him for one. Uh, so either plus five attack or plus five health and taunt. That's a great 510 taunt that I can throw out onto the board. But well, that's a seven mana card, which kind of stinks. And we are going to innervate. Yeah, I think I'll innervate into Lothab. So this way he can't do something like, he can't even do a coin blessing of kings because coin's going to cost him 5 mana. So that should lock the paladin out from doing any spells. He can play a creature of course, but then hopefully I can silence that creature or kill it using uh, Keeper of the Grove. Uh, he can Argent Protector. It's annoying. That is very annoying. Uh, let's play De Keeper of the Grove here. Deal two damage. We'll kill... Oh, I don't care which one. I'm going to kill the 2-2 two because two I can use my hero ability to kill the other one. And then we'll smack our opponent for five. So my hero ability can get rid of the 1-1 one one or the 2-1. Um, so that's why I decided to do two damage and kill the other one. Ah, uh, Consecration. Well, you know, if he's going to use Consecration just to get rid of one card, I'm kind of okay with that. That just leaves him with a 1-1 one, one that I can use my hero ability to get rid of. Although, I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to play... You know, I should get rid of it. But I want to keep that silence. Yep, alright, we're going to do this. We'll get a 4-6 taunt out there, because if he uses Blessing of Kings, that's a 5-5. This will still live. I can hero ability that. I will take damage, but... Or I can use Keeper of the Grove then to do one damage. He's going to play a Sludge Belcher. I'm cool with that. Because here's what we can do. We can go ahead and silence the Sludge Belcher. That way he, he won't get crap from it. Uh, we'll just hit that and then hit him for four. So that works. 
Consider yourself silenced. Also, I should point out, we do have Stalag and Fugin in our hand. So, hopefully my opponent doesn't have silence. He does have a Leroy Jenkins. Which isn't great, because that's just going to trade for that. At least he got chicken. So, Leroy Jenkins has been nerfed uh, as of 9.22. Instead of costing 4 mana for a 6-2, it now costs 5 mana, which that one extra mana does throw off a lot of decks. Okay. I'm going to cast Blessing of Wisdom on that, so we'll probably just won't attack with that card. Instead, I'm going to play Ancient of War. Get myself a 5-10 and move along. See if he has a silence. Because I don't want him silencing Stalag or Fugan. Nope. Does have an Ar another Arjun Protector, and he does have a True Silver Champion, which is slightly annoying. But he's going to take 5 damage all on his own. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to sacrifice the two whelps. I think, simply because I don't want to take the chance that something will go wrong there. And we'll play Fugan. We'll start with Fugan at least. And we'll use our hero ability and we'll hit him for 1 and 5. And I don't want him drawing cards. So he's down to 9 life. Um, why did I kill the whelps in case he's got another Consecration? So instead of losing them to a Consecration, and rather than doing 2 damage to my opponent, I decided to get rid of that instead. Now this is a little annoying because now he's got another Taunt. And he's going to hit me directly and heal himself a little. But I'm okay with that. I've got Taunts of my own. What are you going to do for 3 man? A Haunted Creeper. That's not much. All right, methinks we'll put Stalag out there. We'll work on, you know what, no, well, I'm not going to give him cards. I'm going to kill that thing with myself and end my turn. Seems like giving him cards is a bad idea. So now I have both Stalag and Fugan on, out on the board. Let's see if we can't. Oh, he's got another True Silver Champion. Let's see if we can't... Oh, and he's going to draw two cards. Let's see if we can't finish that sentence. Let's see if we can't get Thaddeus. Get there, okay. Why would you kill that? That's got Blessing of Wisdom on it. That can only get you cards if I attack with it. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do because of reasons and actually I can win next turn yeah please do that thank you uh, I have enough to win so with Druid of the Claw and Charge ability I have 7 and 4 is 11 15 so well played 4 7 15. There we go. That works. Hey, get a win streak there. And that's one daily quest complete. The other one's getting there. Let's play a few more games. Maybe I can get a bit closer to getting all of those done. Getting more dust. I'd spent all my dust on cards. But now I might save up a little bit of dust and start doing arena again. Who knows? Or I might concentrate more on ranked play. It's hard to say. Chewy Puff, the Warlock, let's do it. Death Lord is a great card to begin with. So is Sludge Belcher with Innervate and Wrath. Actually, I'm keeping all of these because uh, Taunts in case. I'm hoping it's uh, not a Handlock and actually like a Zoo deck because I think I can fight off a Zoo deck. Oh, I meant to say greetings. 
And I get to go second, which is nice. Nourish gets me three cards, which is also very nice. That's why I threw it in the deck. I don't really care about the mana crystals. I do care about the card draw. I think it's a hand lock. Otherwise, he would have gone. I would love to be able to rush him down, but I don't really have much to do that with. I could have used coin harvest golem, but I'm... Maybe it's not a hand lock. Maybe it's a crappy zoo deck. Uh, well, we'll play the Harvest Golem and see what happens. But then we'll start working towards things like Sludge Belcher. Chillin Yeti is good. Chillin Yeti is always good. Do I want to swipe here? Swipe. Kill that. Trade that in. Innervate. Kill that. Uh, or Innervate Wrath, get a card. It's not terrible. It's a lot of cards. I do get some back. Avoid taking too much damage. Still leaves me with stuff I can play next turn. Alright, we'll do it. He's going to use Mortal Coil there to get rid of that, get a card, and play his own Taunt. And I too have a Taunt. Except mine's a little bit better because we're both 3 fives. Mine gets me a 1 2 uh, after it dies. So there. Alright. Dread Infernal does 1 damage to everybody. Fair enough. Uh, silences won't help me. So we'll play Chillin Yeti, we'll use our hero ability, and we'll go ahead and clear out that taunt of his. Hopefully he doesn't have another Mortal Coil, or another Dread Infernal. Inferno, Inferno, Inferno. What else? Yeah, I don't know. Keeper of the Grove is not going to be quite enough to kill that after he hits my taunt. Knife Juggler. Slightly annoying. Keeper of the Grove can kill the Knife Juggler though. Urabashi Berserker. I can silence that good. I didn't kill it. So here's the plan, methinks. Um, if I keep her of the grove, let's talk about this. If I keep her of the grove, I can kill that. Then I can silence, keep play keeper of the grove and silence that. And then I just hit him directly. I'd have to use a coin, but that's fine. All right, here we go. Deal two damage to that. Coin, keeper of the grove. Silence that minion. Hit him for five. Start doing direct damage and hopefully prevent him from being able to uh, <clears throat> use his hero ability too much. So the more damage we can do, the less likely he is to draw cards and use his hero ability. Now he's got the Dread Infernal going. That'll kill your Dread Infernal. See, that won't. So, in theory, that it's a good play. It is actually a good play, not in theory. It is a good play. Plays Nazar Drake, that gets him a card. And uses Shadow Bolt, which is slightly annoying. I have Wild Growth. I'm not going to play Wild Growth. What I am going to do is I will use my hero ability to kill that. It's annoying, but we'll get that out of there. We will throw a Death Lord out here. And I can buff that up to a, a uh, 4 or whatever, but instead I'll make this a 4 6. And hit him for 4. So now I have two taunts out there. A 2 8 and a 4 6. Come on. Let's 
keep this party rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Alright, he's slowly working on killing all those things. I really don't like all the spell power that he's going for. Uh, even though that cleared out his board, it also didn't quite help me. Uh, Wrath will not help me. Wild Growth will not help me, unfortunately. So we'll play Fugan. And we'll do that. And I could use Wrath th this turn to deal one damage to that. But I think it's a worthwhile. Just to get a card. Yeah, I can't do it. Alright, fine. Fuck it. It's n probably not the best use of Wrath. But I did want the card. This might actually help me because it could be a taunt or it could just be a charge that I can use to uh, deal some more creatures. So there goes my ability to play Nourish. Uh, pretty much gone. Same with Wild Growth because it's going to cost me 7 mana. Nourish is going to cost me 10 mana. And he's going to play all of his cards. It's rather annoying, I think. What I want to do is get me health and taunt, get me that, and we'll hit him for four. So he shouldn't be able to kill me, theoretically, this turn. He could. I don't know what three cards he has left, but if he can't kill me, I have a good chance of killing him. So he's thinking, because he should have to run two creatures. Okay. Still doesn't... Oh, that, that'll kill me. Yep. Damn. Yep, well played. Chewy Puff. That's a shame. What an annoying Warlock deck. Uh, let's try it again. Let's keep going. What could have helped me there? I'm not quite sure. I apologize as I take another swig of coffee. What could have helped me there? Um, swipes would have been very useful. Demon Stab. All right, here we go. We are going second, which I like. I will keep the Wild Growth. I'll keep Keeper of the Grove. I get rid of Lothab and the other one. For now, I get another Wild Growth and the Druid of the Claw. All right, all right. We can work with this. So do I want to ramp up really quickly? I kind of do. My only concern is uh, I'm going to run out of cards if I do that. But I think I will go ahead and Wild Growth. Coin Wild Growth, I should say. So next turn I'll have three mana. I can Wild Growth again. Plays an Armor Smith. That's fine. I can silence that. Um, wild Growth again. Next turn we have five mana, and I can play Druid of the Claw, followed by Sylvanas. So this is the definition of ramping up, basically. If I had Innervates as well, and then had like uh, Ysera or something, play that by like turn four. Acolyte of Pain, okay. Get him some cards potentially if I don't silence that uh, what I will do is play Druid of the Claw and I'll use bear form uh, so what do we have here? 7 3 2 2 treants with charge that die at the end of the turn so that's force of nature and I could use that it's a decent finisher it deals 6 damage It's good with Savage Roar. I think I kept one Savage Roar in here. I might not have, in which case I should actually go back and probably take this out of my deck and replace it with something slightly more useful. But we'll see what my opponent does. I probably will want to silence this eventually. 
but my opponent's turn four and I have Druid of the Claw out. And next turn I'm going to have six mana, so I could use Keeper of the Grove. I am tempted to silence the Acolyte of Pain simply because I don't want my opponent to draw more cards, but we'll see. It's anybody's guess. He might just, yeah, run that in there and get a card, plus one armor. Now he has to figure out what he wants to do for four mana. What do you want to do? Execute. Ah, you son of a bitch. Fair enough. He's going to use Cruel Taskmaster on that thing, buff it up to a 3-3, and hit me. Well, if there was ever a candidate to use Keeper of the Grove on, I think this would be it. So we'll do... Silence this minion. Sure. Then hit him. So no more armor and uh, no more buffed up creature. Death of Spite. It's annoying. You can deal decent damage plus. He gets Death Rattle where it deals one damage to everybody at the end of the turn. So, annoying. Uh, Sludge Belcher can survive Death Spite. At least a little bit. So, we'll do it. Because he's going to have to run several things into it to get rid of the Sludge Belcher. I didn't want to play Sylvanas because that would die. I wouldn't get any good creatures out of it. Druid of the Claw is good, but that would die too. Druid of the Claw is actually a little bit more valuable to me than the Sludge Belcher. There we go. So now he's going to lose that. Good. And he plays an Azur Drake, which is actually annoying. Very annoying, but he doesn't have a taunt. I hope he doesn't with one mana. I'm going to use Force of Nature here. And Force of Nature will allow me to do something like this. It's three, two, twos. One, two, three. Bam. Clear out his Drake. Clear out the one, two. And uh, even up the life totals. Now I can play Sylvanas and Faceless Manipulator on the Sylvanas um, to have two Sylvanases or Sylvanas I if you want to be accurate. Um, not sure what else. He's got another Acolyte of Pain. Again, don't want him drawing cards if I can help it. Uh, he's going to use Cruel Taskmaster on it, which will buff that up, uh, which is actually pretty bad, all considering. So. Now, I could get my own Acolyte of Pain if I wanted to Faceless Manipulate that, but I'm not 100% sure that I do. Because that'll die very easily. Uh, I could use Wrath to kill it, get some another card, but basically he's going to get another card no matter what. So if I use Wrath to kill that, get that out of there, deal 3 damage. Play Druid of the Claw, put out a 4-6, and then hit our opponents. So the 4-6, he might have another Execute, I don't know, but uh, he's going to have, should have a little bit of trouble getting by. The 4-6, hopefully he has to waste a couple of cards to do it, and that gives me a good trade. He's got a Cochrane Elite, that'll do it. And a Frothing Berserker, which is going to have to die. Basically, can't let that live for too long. So, Sludge Belcher time is good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to save that Faceless Manipulator. Instead, I'll play the Harvest Golem. And I'll play that and hit him directly uh, and use my hero ability. 
So we'll see what he does. Uh, I was tempted, maybe I should have played the Sludge Belcher and used Faceless Manipulator on the 6-4 there. But again, we'll see what he does. He's going to do Whirlwind, damages everybody. Buff that up. The more you buff it up, the better the chance that I'll be able to Faceless Manipulate it. Keep that in mind. Now it's a 13-6. That's perfect because how do I want to play this? I can copy this, kill that stuff, or I can play Sylvanas in the hopes of killing that stuff. Or I can copy this, kill that stuff. Let's copy this. And then I'll actually kill this using my hero ability. And kill the one two using that. And I probably should have played the other harvest golem. Now it's basically whoever can get through the person's taunts uh will win the game, more or less. So on guard, do you have an execute? Uh you have another sludge belcher. That's annoying. And Shield Slam, which is also very annoying. So how do I remove the 3-5? Swipe? No, no swipe. Well, I'm dead then. Um, a swipe would have been very helpful here. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. Or a silence. Hmm. I have no time for games. All right, I'm dead. Damn that other taunt. Plus, I. Ugh, I could have gotten a, if I got a taunt, if I got a swipe, I had many possibilities. If I could have gotten a silence, all of those things, but nope. Oh well, let's play one more, shall we? See how we do. And we're playing against Kin, the mage. I'd love to have better card draw than what I have. Unfortunately, I don't. And in fact, I'm going to throw pretty much all this back. Maybe I'll keep the Nourish, just because I'm paranoid about card draw now. And I get crap that I don't really want. Oh well. Alright. There we go. Sorry, I moved my chair around. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hey! I like that. makes completing these daily quests a lot quicker and easier. Let's do one more. See if we can get this seven game win thing going. Maybe. Hopefully. Some more coffee. Afternoon coffee is the best coffee. It's 5.52 and I'm starting to fall asleep. It's that time of day. Been up since like, I don't know, 7 a.m. Grim Knight the Priest. This is going to be interesting. I can already see this going badly. Uh, I am getting rid of Force of Nature. I'm going to keep Wrath. I uh, will get rid of Innervate. Because... Yeah, that's fine. I'm keeping Wrath because I will use Wrath on a Northshire Cleric to make sure my opponent can't get too much card draw. And we'll take a swig of water. No, coffee. That's right. Sometimes I have to actually look at my cup to see what I'm drinking. 
even though I was just talking about it a second ago. <clears throat> but that's how Alzheimer's goes. One minute you remember something and the next minute... What was I saying? Alright, we're gonna use our hero ability, hit him for one. Um, this is good. Keeper of the Grove is great. I love the silence or the ability to deal two damage. Such a versatile card. Harvest Golem's great. Dark Cultist, not so great. So if I play the Harvest Golem, he'll just kill the Harvest Golem. Right, so... Not a lot of point in playing that, so we'll just, I don't know, hit that thing. Uh, why did I hit that directly? Let me think about that. Because I can use Wrath to kill it. It's one possibility. Or... Yeah, that way he's... Yeah, never mind. He's gonna use Power Word Shield. That's fine. All that is actually good, because that sets it up for a good Keeper of the Grove usage. Let's go ahead and play Keeper of the Grove and we'll silence that minion and put a stop to this bullshit. There we go. So no more Power Word Shield, no more 3-4. I'm gonna play a Loot Hoarder. Hit me and then heal that, which is annoying. Uh, I don't have a good way around it, so I think this calls for a tactical swipe. And then we could hit him directly. He does get a card from the loot hoarder, but at least those are off the board. And he won't be able to keep healing that and keep being annoying. He's got an Undertaker. And another Dark Cultist, which is going to buff up the Undertaker. So what am I going to do? Uh, I'm thinking that this would be a good opportunity to run uh, Keeper of the Grove in there and then use Wrath to deal one damage, draw a card, and also get rid of that Undertaker. I get Cairn, and then uh, Harvest Golem's just going to die. Such a shame. So then we'll, I guess we'll use our hero ability and hit him. Do I want more mana from Wild Growth, or do I want to save the Wild Growths until another turn? If I use Wild Growth now, I'll have 7, 8 mana next turn, which means I could do something like Sludge Belcher, Harvest Golem, or I could do something like Sylvanas hero ability. But I think it's better off if I just save it. And then on turn 10, I can get two extra cards. Injured Blade Master is terrible for me because uh, he's just going to be able to heal that and that's going to be a 4-7 which is going to be very hard to kill. So that stinks. Uh, I will play the Sunwalker and hopefully it's out of range of Power, well, power Word Shield, no. Shadow Word Death, Shadow Word Pain, can't kill it. But that doesn't mean you can't kill it using other methods like running creatures into it. But at least he can't kill it. Using Shadow Word Pain or Shadow Word Death, he can use Defender of Argus. Do that, do that. Heal that up. Damn it, man. Give me another swipe. No. Crap. Alright, we'll play. We'll take a risk here. We'll play. Sludge Belcher and our Harvest Golem, and hope he doesn't have Shadow Word Pain. Oh, but he does have a Cabal Shadow Priest. God freaking damn it, Priest. A swipe here would be very useful. Please, no. All right. Uh, I 
How do I want to play this? I guess I'll play Stalag. I would love to get more creatures out. So you know what, Karen is probably the best way to get more creatures out. We'll play Wrath to kill this thing. So he stops buffing that up. I didn't want to use Wrath on Dark Cultist because that would just buff up another creature. Karen is good because he can't die. Two Shadow War Pain, Shadow War Death, and uh, it'll get me two creatures upon death, so, or it'll give me another creature, so that's good. Unfortunately, he's going to heal that. Play Spectral Knight, okay. And attack me directly, it looks like. Or a lot of damage. Where are cards that I need? It's definitely not a card that I need. So we'll do our first Texas Man and see what we get. Another Yeti. These are most definitely not cards that I need because all of these are going to get me killed. Another Texas Man and Mark of the Wild. So we'll play our Chill One Yeti and we'll cast Mark of the Wild on it. Basically, whatever I cast Mark of the Wild on could potentially die to Shadow Word death, so it didn't really matter. Unless I played the Harvest Golem. Yep. Oh. Or Mind Control. So. Unfortunately, I just got destroyed there. Uh, not much I could have done, as far as I see. Uh, except to go back and to edit my deck and to change it out a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. But we'll save that for next time. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show your support. Leave a like. It helps me out a bunch. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. You get updates whenever I post new stuff to the channel. And as always, my name is Laducium. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I'll see you, folks, next time. Later.